Do you know where your elderman is? I can tell you a few things, but not here in the open. Follow me. This is far enough. Tell me what you know. Oh, I know loads of things about our elderman. I know his favorite foods. I know when his bedclothes get changed. But where has he gone? Ah, where? I have no bloody idea. Is that what you asked me? Forget it. <laughs> Are you the head sister? Please, don't hurt me. These poor... Calm, sister. Lord Hunwald sent me. He asked me to speak with the people here. Hunwald? That's not a name I expected to... No harm will come to you or those you care for. I'm all... I'd be risking my neck telling you anything. And if my head broke... Your elderman would agree. So the sooner I find... That's a pleasant thought. Our lord was in a bad way then. Quite against... There's no working bathhouse in Lincoln. So, I gather they meant the old ruins just south of here. Ruins just south of here. I'll look there. Thank you. I pray you find him. He's... These tunnels run deep. Was the Elderman fleeing to a hideaway beneath Lincoln? Mercians traipsing across our routes. Can't piss from here to Bolingbrock without someone demanding some ungodly deal. All this traffic has made smuggling a difficult job. Smuggling will always be difficult. But I prefer it to paying tribute. Never again will we bend to the Mercian crown.
Fighting here. About what? A violent struggle between nobles and bandits. The bandits didn't fare so well. A noble's cloak with the image of a swan. Looks like the ultimate passed this way. Saxon noblemen paid some bandits for permission to sneak through these tunnels on their way to Bolingbroke Castle. Mercian nobles made a deal with some bandits, paid them hush money to let them sneak through these caves. When the time came, the bandits ambushed the nobles. But it didn't end well for the bandits. In the struggle, the Elderman's cloak was torn off. But he got away and headed east for Bolingbroke Castle. That's my best lead.
Ah, oh, fresh air. I need your eyes, my friend. This area is off limits. Worse than rabbit dogs? <laughs> that idiot Sabby's got his eye on one of the Dane's women. She's just a farm girl. <laughs> I'm on the right track. That keep is well protected. God's 
Ashley we're here for. Hunbeo is his own prisoner. He's an ill man, leave him be. Besides, we ain't got it too rough. We can hunt in the walls of Lindsay and whore in Botolston. <laughs> too right, too right. I've gone done with idle time. Grab some ale and let's skin some animals later. Welcome, stranger. Are you here to pay tribute to our Lord Elderman? I heard voices as I entered. Were you speaking with him? Does his hooger speak through you? I am not sure what to call it precisely. Words form in my mind, and I give them voice. Often, they sound like my dear Lord. Can I ask a favor of him? behalf of his son, Hunvold. You could try, but he never speaks when others are present. Hunvold deserves to know the truth about his father. He's owed an inheritance. And All in good time, I imagine. No, now. When the guards put him in my care, I was told to keep all this a secret. And when I asked who gave these orders, they struck me. I wish I could say more. I've seen all I need to, but Hunvald will need proof. Of course. You're welcome to search through his effects, though I'm not sure what trinket would best serve you. I'll find something. Foul. Rat droppings everywhere. Even in death, my lord is a friend to all of God's creatures. I don't know what this is, and I'd rather not ask. Yes, I thought the same. Troubling. A box of musty clothing, and a brooch with a crest. The house of the ferocious swan. This will do. I'll return this brooch to Humboldt and Lincoln. I hope the poor boy can withstand such ill news. Dried herbs and berries, crushed into powder. The time between my lord's departure and his burial is... longer than usual. My lord must keep up appearances for his upcoming rites. Help! 
Eivor! What news? Your father's dead. Wait, what? The sigil of Humbiot's house. I found it near his body. No. No, this cannot be. He was strong. A pillar of Lincolnshire. He cannot be gone. He... He... <laughs> Oh, you poor boy. I'm so, so sorry. I am a man, Archer! Do you hear me? I am a man a Keep steady, Hunwald. You're now the head of your house. Another swan takes flight. Only I remain. Last in a line of... ...dwindling nobles. I'm sorry, Hunwald. I had already asked a priest to administer last rites when your father disappeared. What? I didn't tell you sooner because I... I thought by some miracle he had survived. You lied to me! You silly, sobbing mooncalf. Will you never grow up? Lord, have mercy on that woman. Humwald was the son of an elderman. Will he take his father's seat? The title is not hereditary, but he can plead his case before a shire moot. King Cheowulf must then ratify the decision. Explain how this works, your shire moot. A moot is a meeting of lords. It was all. But between our troubles in Link. Someone in the Shire wants Hunwald dead. If I have to assemble the Shire mood... If I may be so bold... I will offer my... And I am proud to say I have forged quite a friendship with the Danes to the north. Good. My priest will... Uh, do visit my estate, Eivor. I have something for you. Something I think you'll enjoy. I'll find the time. Eivor, a word if you don't mind. Is the word Christ I'll pay... <sighs> I deeply love is a difficult feeling to command. Yes, quite. With Humbiol's death an open secret, Humbold's enemies may strike again. I should find him before they do. Archer went to.